Hi there, this is the Queen G4 fork theme in the B5 sack of the Sicilian Sveshnikov. And after a long sequence of moves in this so-called trap, the position is in fact absolutely equal. We'll run through the moves quickly as we've seen this extensively in previous videos. After E4, C5, Knight F3, C6, D4, takes on D4, Knight takes D4, Knight F6 and Knight C3, the Sveshnikov with E5. Knight b5, and black closes the hole with d6. Bishop g5 pins the knight on f6, and a6 throws the white knight back to a3. b5 threatening to continue with b4, and here we've looked at bishop takes on f6, as opposed to knight d5. Now after g takes f6, now knight d5. Black will play f5 to try and undouble the pawns, and in this position, we're going to look at the move c3, a particularly trappy move played by white. Because black can go wrong with the move bishop to e6, or f takes on e4. Check out the other videos to see why these are poor moves by black and how white gets advantage. However, if black continues with the recommended bishop g7, white now can play bishop d3 and eyeing up that pawn now on f5. Black can indirectly defend that pawn with bishop e6, because now if e takes on f5, the knight on d5 will be loose. And in this position, instead of the traditional bishop takes on b5, which we've explored in other videos, now white changes and plays knight takes on b5. And after a takes b5, bishop takes b5, the knight on c6 is hanging, so bishop d7, the bishop drops back to protect the knight on c6, and white now can capture the pawn on f5. In this position, most games have gone castle. Black has preferred to castle. This has been played by Topalov and Shirov and Timofayev. The move rook b8 has also been played by Van Veli and Krosenkov. But we're going to continue with the move knight b8, as played by Judith Polgar. And here white can retreat the bishop, or perhaps the more pressing move a4. After this move, black can castle. If we see the move bishop takes on b5, let's have a look at that, bishop takes b5. A takes on b5, rook takes a1, and queen takes a1. White has three pawns for the piece with a fantastic knight on d5 and an active queen on a1. So instead of trading, black might prefer to castle. And after castling, white can play f6. And after bishop takes on f6, knight takes on f6, Queen takes f6, bishop now trades on d7, knight takes d7. It looks like white is doing very well after the move queen g4 check, which is going to pick up the knight on d7. However, after queen to g6 and queen takes on d7, queen e4 check, and black has very active play, white hasn't castled, and this position is a dead draw. So this has been the Queen G4 fork theme in the B5 sack of the Sicilian Sveshnikov. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.